In this video I'm just going to show you how to access Project Free TV if your internet service provider has blocked you. It's very easy to do um, and it doesn't just work with Project Free TV, it works with PrimeWire, um, CatPH, a couple of other torrent sites. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. So I've already just unblocked it so if I clean the cache because we're looking at saved pages if we don't do that. Um, refresh the page you'll see this message so basically when you go to Google um, type in project free TV this is what it will look like on Virgin if you're using a different internet service provider ISP it might look a little bit different but it will still mean the same thing that you can't access the website um, so all you need to do is download this software um, it's a simple application basically uh, it's completely clean. You can go over to Virus Total, scan it there. Comes up clean every time. Um, just basically click the download button. It's a direct download. Make sure you don't only download it from here. Um, I'll show you why. There's a unique patch. So once you click start, you'll be redirected to the site to automatically download a patch. So don't download it from Dropbox, Mediafire, or anything like that. Just make sure you only get it from here. Um, once you've downloaded it, it will look like this. All you need to do is copy and paste the URL of the website that you want to unblock. So you don't need to do any sub pages, just make sure you only do the root, which is basically free hyphen TV hyphen video hyphen online dot me. And make sure you include the HTTP. It's fairly simple, it tells you how to do it there. Choose your operating system. I'm using Windows 7. Just click HTTP. You don't have to worry about any of those. You can click any of these buttons, but it's best to do the APS4 slash 5, which is basically a SOX5 or a SOX4 proxy. So just click that. Then just click start. I've already done it, so I've already got the patch. Now, when you go back to Google, clear the cache again. or your history if you're using a different browser um, and you'll see that you're able to access the website very fast um, and extremely easy that's it you can see that the whole website works um, and as soon as we close down the software clean the cache again refresh websites blocked that's it if, if for any reason it's running a little bit slow sometimes it does do just go back to the software you don't have to do any of the other steps just click the start button and that's it I'll put a link to that um, below this video uh, but if you want to go to Google and get it basically go to daily shizzle.com forward slash website hyphen on blocker um, and you'll you'll find it there and that's really about it